Hi there. Many of you have asked me for complete meal ideas. To start this series, I offer you a summer getaway with tasty seasonal ingredients. From refreshing sweet melon balls, olive oil, basil flavored feta cheese, to crispy prosciutto chips. Next, we move on to the next course, where I will share with you one of my favorite recipes. Picture this succulent baked creamy pesto haddock filet paired with melt in your mouth roasted red of Florence onion with cherry tomatoes and wild rice. And we conclude the meal with a show-stopping, easy to make clafouti dessert. And this is just what we're gonna be making now. Blend together half and a half and eggs. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. Voila. I'm gonna give a little buzz. Then I'm gonna throw in there the sugar, almond meal, flour, and vanilla. Voila, les petits lapins. You know, originally, clafouti is made out of cherries, but the season is very short. In fact, many other fruits can be used instead. I'm not gonna lie, I got lucky. There is plenty of wild fruit trees around my neighbors. I am definitely going to exploit that fact. And I'm gonna use this beautiful and sweet Reine Claude and quech plums, blackberries, and of course, black mission figs. Great news, in fall, you can use pre-cooked apples, pears, and why not, butternuts. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius for about 30 minutes, and you want to enjoy your clafoutis at room temperature. Next, the main course. But first, I gotta go to the farmer's market near cordes sur ciel to get some fresh fish and veggies. Stick around. Always be the first. Buying seafood from a local fishmonger is a great way to get fresh seafood. And of course, unless you have placed an order, there is no guarantee that you will find what you are looking for. No worries, your fishmonger's got alternatives. Look at this gorgeous haddock, aigle fin, a lean and delicate white fish, very similar to the cod cabillo cut into eight ounces, 250 grams portions, and place in a refrigerator. Now, you want to clean up your cutting board and knife, and we are going to take care of the first course. Wash off melons and trim. By the way, I prefer small ones because it's going to be served in their shells for an elegant presentation. Cut both cantaloupe in half crosswise and scoop out the seeds. With a melon butter on now, cuillère parisienne, plunge the edge of the melon butter into the melon and rotate the edge all the way around to make perfect sphere. Keep at it and you'll get the hang of it. Hmm, interesting. It looks like an elephant's footprint, isn't it? So once you have extracted as many balls as possible, you want to scrape the remaining melon flesh with a large spoon. Save and blend with a dash of lemon or lime juice and refrigerate. Meanwhile, overlap fresh basil leaves like so and thinly slice. Then cut feta cheese into small cubes and gather everything in a small bowl and season with lime or lemon juice, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. Now for the prosciutto crisp, bake at 450 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 Celsius for approximately 30 minutes. Beautiful. So you can serve this refreshing appetizer in fancy champagne cups, martini glasses, or melon shells. All right, let's go back to the main course, and we're gonna cook the wild rice in chicken stock, veggie stock, or water. That's gonna take a while, more than 40 minutes. That gives us plenty of time to prep those huge shallots look alike the red of Florence onions. You can sub them for regular shallots or sweet onions. So you want to sear them in uh, olive oil, butter, salt, pepper, and herbs for about 10 minutes and finish in the oven roasting for 45 minutes until caramelization occurs. Then throw in there cherry tomatoes and put back in the oven for 10 minutes more. Amazing. All right, so the rice is cooked, all of the moisture is gone. And that's a good sign. I'm gonna taste it. All right, perfect. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. 
and that's it. The last ever thing you want to cook is the fish. Rub filet with olive oil and season geniusly with fleur de sel, pepper and top with this luscious pesto. Set your oven to 430 degrees Fahrenheit, 220 Celsius and bake for 8 minutes. And check the doneness with a toothpick. If it goes through the flesh easily, it's done. You know the trick with fish is to not overcook it. It is done as soon as it can be flaked with a fork and should be taken off the heat as soon as it turns white. I hope guys you have enjoyed this three course meal episode. If you have any suggestions, please reach me out at brunoalbuz.com. Do likewise to get through the recipes and if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and click down below to the subscribe button. Have a gorgeous day, see you soon.